Hey guys, it's Fani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and today I want to share with you my top board games that we like to use for math at our homeschool. If you guys are new to my channel, I am a homeschooling mom of three. As of right now, I've been homeschooling for nine years and I share videos on everything to help you on your homeschooling journey. So make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and the notification bell before we continue with the video. So today I wanna to share with you guys my favorite or my kids favorite math games that we like to use in our homeschooling. So let's get into it and I'll show you all the games that I have. This game is called Pop for Addition and Subtraction. It's a fast-paced game that lets you spin to practice basic math facts. You keep the gumballs for any right answers that you get. For example, if I spin three, I get to pick three from the box and solve them. If I get them right, I get to keep them. However, if I get a pop, all of the gumballs have to go back in the box. Next is Matching Mathematics, which is a self-connecting puzzle teaching children basic math skills. And this one, it uses pictures to help teach addition. And here you will see the same concept, except the children get to practice subtraction. And then for your youngest learners, all they have to do is count the pictures and match the correct number for those children who are recognizing numbers. Here we have Math Wars Addition and Subtraction. This is played just like the old game of war or the old game of I Declare War, where each player has to flip a number and once they add or subtract the numbers, whoever has the highest answer wins that set. If the children get the same number, then they have to declare war. This is Quick Picks for Addition and Subtraction, and this is a good game to test your children's speed on their math facts. So a card is flipped over, and whoever has the answer to that card or finds the answer first takes it from their pile of five cards at the bottom and gets to grab the card. Whoever has the most cards when all of the deck is empty wins. And here is Quick Picks Multiplication. It's played the same way, except the problems are multiplication instead of addition and subtraction. The next board game we have is Some Swamp. And this is also for addition and subtraction. You have these little animal creatures that live in a swamp. In this game, you have three die. One for addition and subtraction and two with numbers ranging from one to five. The kids roll all three numbers and then they have to do the equation. So here we have six plus six and I get to move my little snail six places. Whoever reaches the end first wins. If you land on a number, you get to move that many places forward. This is the endless loop. Kids have to keep going around until they land on the exit. If they land on an odd, on a shortcut space, they get to take the shortcut. If they land on an odd space, they can only move if the number is odd. And if they land on an even space, they can only move if the number is even. This game is called Pet Me Division, and it is one of my kids' favorite games. It says eight years and up, but I do have my first graders who are four and seven play this game, and they just use counters to help them understand the concept of dividing. At the bottom, you have food cards, and in these two little boxes, one of them is the actual like food that you're supposed to feed your pets, and here are the little stars to claim your pets after you have fed them or adopted them. And here are the little hearts. The person at the end of the game who has the most amount of hearts wins. You have five points for each big pink heart and one point for each red heart. The way the game is played is the dice is rolled and you're supposed to follow the arrows. I didn't follow the arrows here. And when you land on the pets, you pick the appropriate food card, whatever number that is. For example, 36, I have to divide it amongst how many cats there are. So once I do that, I get to collect that amount of hearts. In this game, your student gets to practice identifying fractions, matching fraction equivalents, and perform fraction addition and subtraction. The game includes 13 double-sided pizzas, one side labeled with fractions and the other one not, and three double-sided spinners providing different levels of learning. This next board game is a popular one and it is called Allowance. Whether you're starting your own business, doing chores around the house, earning interest on bank deposits, or spending money at the mall, this game teaches kids how to use money and make change. When you do all this and you save $20, you win the game. 
This next game is called Money Bags. Children learn valuable money skills as they collect, count, and exchange money all the way to the finish line. And last but not least, we have Monopoly Junior. In this junior version of Monopoly, kids get to purchase different properties by using their dollar bills and learn how to make simple change. Once they purchase a property, they get to place one of their ticket booths on their property to claim it. Whoever wins all of the money at the end wins the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed that, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more homeschooling content.